Hi there, my name is Marco and today I'm going to give you a quick tour of Profoto Control desktop app. I'm in Stockholm, Sweden at Profoto HQ in the studio and let's go right into it. So let me open Profoto Control app on my MacBook and you can see the Connect Pro sitting behind me reconnected automatically. That's because it has been connected to this computer before. And we will do a small photo shoot. I will tell you more about in a second. Uh, let me just give you a general overview. You can see we have three main tabs in this app. Devices, this is where your remote control activity happens. Then we have presets. If you want to save flash presets and recall them or edit them, uh, you can do that from this middle tab. And in the right tab, you have my profile and general app settings, uh, such as forget previously used devices, etc. So let me show you a little bit about uh, controlling, remote controlling the remote. So now we have Connect Pro connected via Bluetooth. If you would connect Connect via Bluetooth, you would have the same functionality from the app. You see here at the bottom, the app wants us to update it. I can do that later, uh, but all Profoto devices that you connect here to this app, you can also uh, register from the app, you can update them, um, you can change all of their settings uh, by clicking on this gear icon, uh, including the device name. But the main things that we are interested in right now is controlling the lights because we want to do a photo shoot. So uh, in this remote view, um, we are controlling all six groups individually and we have this core settings that we can do for each group. We can change flash power by swiping left and right, by tapping plus and minus, or also just by using keyboard shortcuts. For instance, command A, command D, command C. We can also double tap we can just type in the value. We can move between them using the tab key. So you can work in multiple different ways when changing the flash power settings. You can also enable or disable uh, flash functionality for each individual group. And we also have global controls uh, where you can do the main things. You can tweak all of the lights. You can change. You can also trigger flash. Uh, for all groups at once. Um, yes, let's go into uh, the shoot. Let me open my Capture One and I will tell you in a sec uh, what exactly are we going to take photo of today. So this is a photo of the setup behind me. Uh, I'm using these shoes because they're very patient I need a lot of takes to make this right. Um, and I'm using five different lights um, placed around. I have to clarify that uh, this is not a tutorial how to make great photo of a shoes. Uh, I'm just using these lights and these light shaper, shapers to demonstrate the functionality of the app. Uh, but if you have any suggestions for me how to make better shoe photos, just send it to me on hello at profoto.com. I will gladly read and uh, learn more as a photographer. So my camera is tethered to this computer that you're watching right now. Uh, and here is also more detailed overview of the setup. So you see we have top light, which is my key light or main light. I have side, side, side light from the right side. I'm using Profoto D2 here uh, and I have uh, front highlight, back highlight and I also have background. Um, and I assigned different group values to these lights. Um, what I can do also, I can add labels to each individual group here in the app. So you see, I can name this one Oops, I can name this one top, um, I can name this one side right, and I can name this one high front, and you see I already gave, name, gave names beforehand. 
to the rest. So I'm using this, these five lights. And let's take a first photo. Let's just take a photo. Let's see what happens. Okay. So this is how it looks. I will zoom in so it will be easier to work for us. With these shoes, we will just pretend we are a product photographer in this case, but you can use this app with many different situations. Uh, so what I want to do is, I want to build this photo uh, from a start. So I'll start with key light first, and I'll just keep taking, tweaking flash power for each group until I'm happy until I'm roughly happy. And then I will turn on all of the groups at once. Okay, this needs to be much higher. Okay, too much. Let's say, yes, let's say this is okay. Now we are trying to get front highlight. Okay, super too low. Yes. And it's also adding some of the light in the background, which is what I wanted. Yes, let's say like this, so it's not overdoing it. And now we will just see what can we achieve with the highlight from the back. All right, this doesn't look too bad. Remember, I could tweak this way more, but I'm trying to Keep this fast and breezy. And you can play with the app yourself later. So let's see background. I don't want to put too much of the background because I already have some background from the high front. Let's see, how does it look if I enable both of these? Is this clipping? No. I can maybe add like a little bit more, a little bit more. Okay, now, yeah, let's just keep it maximum then. Okay, let's see what happens if I turn on all of them. Yes, let's say I'm happy with this photo. Uh, you know, we can discuss if this is a good photo or not later, but for the sake of the demo, let's say this is the configuration and look that I was going for. And I can save it as a preset. I can say shoes bright two, for instance. Um, and while I'm doing this, I also want to try this. Let's say um, I want to see if I can achieve slightly different look, you know, by just changing some settings or disabling certain group. So let's say I will name this preset shoes um, shoes dark two um, and let's say I want to see why does this happen what does this do let's make it slightly darker yes I want to make one photo that is super bright one that is quite dark when it comes to the background and one photo that is gray or mid. So let's say shoes mid two. And also what I'm doing is this, I just also want to save or want to have one mask photo. Yes, like this. So I can use this if I want to remove background for instance. So I can save this as Shoes mask two. Um, presets are, are also useful if you want to uh, compare or tweak different setups or if you want to store or save something um, while you go to lunch or for a break or something like that. So while I have these presets and you see I was saving the top four, shoes bright two, dark two, mid two, mask two, I can just click on the preset and it will become active and I can take a photo and then I can apply this one 
and I will immediately take photo with a dark look. And here the mid one, and here the mask. So you can see I was able to do all of these four looks super, super fast. So I'm able to, yeah, replicate this or take photos of more shoes or uh, just have this set up stored for myself for the next time because I can go into the preset and I see all of the settings. I can also add description, longer or shorter as you want. And you can also add photo examples. You can attach the final result. You can attach uh, schematic or, or um, behind the scenes photo. So you can build your own library of presets and of looks. So yes, um, I think I'm done and I'm happy. Uh, this helped me to be very fast, to come from like completely blank setup to, you know, four different looks in less than five minutes, let's say. But now I want to show you also uh, some of the other features uh, from this app. Let's say uh, I want to disconnect my control, my connect, and I want to control my lights individually. All right, let's say I want to connect my lights individually, and I want to control each of them individually. So uh, you see the main controls here are the same as with Connect Pro, but we are controlling each light individually. And of course, you can register each device, you can update it, um, but also each individual device has its own secondary controls. For instance, B10X Plus uh, or B10 family of, of lights, you can control color temperature and intensity of the continuous light. You can also trigger them uh, for a test flash. Uh, while Pro 11 has uh, continuous light intensity for head one and head two uh, in the secondary control panels. But um, of course, you can control settings for every profile device. Um, you can disconnect, reconnect them. Um, yeah. It's very simple, intuitive, uh, and fast. And we hope to improve this app based on your feedback as much as possible. Um, and you can send us your feedbacks directly here uh, from my profile tab. Uh, send feedback and ideas. Uh, and you also have other uh, links to see your profile dashboard, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, that's it. I hope you enjoy using Profoto Control Desktop. I hope it saves you a lot of time. I hope you like using presets. Please send us feedbacks at hello at profoto.com. We will gladly improve it and give you all the answers to the questions that you might have. Thank you and good luck.